Good morning, everybody. Uh, Dennis Engelbrecht with an encore series of Digging Deeper. Today, I want to talk about it being lonely at the top. I know, you know, in several times where I've been an owner and leader of various companies through my career, uh, I definitely felt that it was lonely at the top. You know, when, when things weren't going so well or I had a problem, oftentimes you feel like there is nobody to talk to, nobody to share with. You know, if, if, if you take your problems home with you, that might create depression at home, <laughs> also might create conflicts or, or get you advice that you don't really want. Uh, you know, we can't really talk oftentimes to our neighbors or even fellow business people because the finances you know, your personal finances, which are tied to your business finances, and, and your business finances are all sort of private and, and really dealt with as, as private. So a lot of times we face those problems uh, alone, and it, and it is lonely at the top. So my encouragement to you is, today is to choose to not be lonely at the top. Now, how do you go about doing that? Well, you know, there are several ways. First of all, sharing within your company and sharing with your senior people and making them part of, you know, the overall quest for success in business and inviting them into the decisions that have to be made and the problems that you're facing and the challenges that uh, you're facing is, is really a positive. You don't have to go it alone. Uh, you've probably got a lot of talent around you, a lot of great ideas, and, and that can really help you if you call upon it. And I think you find in the long run that that makes you a stronger business, that those folks, by being part of the success of the company, uh, are more likely to grow, more likely to stay, more likely to contribute to your future success. And even draw in more great people around them, that, you know, that sort of collaborative approach to business is really a positive one for building your business in, in the long run. Uh, secondly, um, developing and expanding just your network of people and business associates that, that you do have. Um, you know, sometimes our problems are even personal and, and having somebody to talk to, you know, so yeah, I've been working really hard. It's affecting my home life and my family and my relationship with my children and those sorts of things. Well, other people have been there before. And sometimes we can even get depressed or, uh, you know, lose motivation and all of those things. So having some folks to talk to and, and having the willingness and the vulnerability to share that really can help you get through those tougher times and, and get you some really good advice. Uh, another idea, of course, is to develop a board of directors or board of advisors. Uh, and even a paid board, um, you know, many of you may have a board, but, you know, so few of our private companies have a real effective board where they're given a lot of information and provide a lot of great advice. But that's really what you need is you need the support and advice. So, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, develop a board uh, of advisors or a board of directors that you do get together with regularly you do feed them all the good information so they can give you great advice when you need it and, and keep you moving in the right direction. Uh, again, a lot of people have had those same experiences that, that you're having, uh, and you know they have a lot of expertise uh, to lend if you're willing to listen. And, and finally, and most importantly, and some of you listening, of course, are already in this boat, but join a peer group. If you're not in a peer group, get in a peer group. There is absolutely no more effective way to quit being lonely at the top. All right. These folks, you know, especially in an industry specific peer group like we have for construction, uh, those folks have been there before. They have made those mistakes. They have, you know, taken those risks. Uh, and, you know, not just being in a peer group, but again, making sure you're, you're truly being vulnerable and opening yourself up and inviting people into your situation and your issues and your problems and the things you're trying to make decisions on, they can help. And, and 
you know, and again, sometimes just from that psychological support standpoint, sometimes you just need an ear to listen. So, you know, you've got folks to listen to you who know your business, who get to know you. And, you know, the impact on that is like putting jet fuel in a bicycle. I mean, it, it makes you take off as a leader, makes you take off as a business. So choose not to be lonely at the top. There are lots of ways uh, to get the support, get the advice uh, that you need, make you a better leader, make yours a better company. Dennis Engelbrecht, Digging Deeper.